Good morning, everybody. I am back in Chester at the Lutheran Church. I'm taking off right now to go get some food, resupply, and I'm gonna get on trail, probably get on trail around 1 p.m. after I hitch. So, why I'm back in Chester, nobody knows, is I had Z-Pack sent me some zippers to Bernie, and then I had to get off the trail before I could get to Bernie and go home. An unplanned return to home. So I did that, I took care of that. I'm back on trail. I had to go to Bernie. So I flew into Reading and then I took a bus to Bernie, $5 bus to Bernie to pick up my package because the post office there wouldn't hold my package another week. And it was only the size of an envelope. So I just wanted to do northbound so I went to Mount Shasta from there and then I just hitched back to Reading and then got an Uber to Chester and now I'm in Chester. I got 80 miles to do to Mount Shasta or no back to Bernie and then from Bernie I'll take that five dollar bus to Reading and then from Reading I'll Uber or I'll get something to go up to Shasta and start my northbound again there. All right, it's 11.30, Tuesday, August 20th. I'm walking and trying to hitchhike, headed to the trail. But yeah, just hitchhiking down the road, here we go. Let's see, I don't know how long it'll take, maybe half an hour at the most usually. It's a pretty good town here. Guys, I made it to the trail. It is 12.08. Uh, it didn't take long at all to get a hitch, so it was really nice. That's the uh, road to get into Bernie or Chester. And it's beautiful out here. Nice trees. It's hot, but I'm nice and shaded. The guy just gave me a ride. Guy Tom, he's a really nice guy. He'll probably see this video. Thank you, Tom. All right, so it's about 90 degrees out. One thing we like to do on trail, and it's powder up. So it's time. All right, sorry if I offended you with that powder technique, but I've offended myself doing it as well. That is a serious powder technique that all of us hikers know about, and it's a well-needed technique. You got to powder up. Uh, sweaty ball, sweaty asshole, hiking 25, 30 miles a day in the heat. That can lead to some serious problems. So get yourself some powder. I like the Gold Bond. It gives you an extra tingle. And you got to powder up. You got to take care of business out here. This is for real. We don't mess around out here on the PCT. I, I got to get going. I don't have time for this shit anymore. This this vlogging shit, man. It causes me extra hours and time time in town trying to upload these damn videos. And I'm doing that for you. So, if you guys haven't done it already, could you please hit that subscribe button? Share a video. Tell somebody about it. If I could get everybody to just get one more person to subscribe my goal is to get to the thousand people thousand subscribers so this tree is starting to get hungry eating this damn sign and this is where i'm going to take break and i'm going to stretch out my legs for a little bit i'm just basically going to sit down and stretch and then get back up all right, here we go. Oh, so my hamstrings are a little tight. I took yesterday off, so I feel I feel some pain. Definitely tightened up from the big miles I did from Bernie to Shasta. This, behind this knee here, it hurts to close it. It's like I can't squeeze, 
squeeze my knee. That's my stretch, like closing it. And then again, opening it, but closing. This hurts. It's behind. It's like a, it's like a tendon. <laughs> I could touch this toe. I remember showing Billy Poe. Yo, Billy Poe. I was amazed because I could stretch out. And I was up in the Sierras. Now I'm back on too damn tight to touch this toe, which is terrible. There's so many freaking bees up here. Oh no, I'm gonna have that bee problem again with my tent where the doors don't shut. Fuck off. Oh, what it is, maybe one of you guys know, it's like a tendon that's running behind my knee. When I'm walking, I can't step up much. And I, if I go to, if I kick a stub, my stub, my toe on a rock, it's terrible. <laughs> it really sends a shocker along the back of my knee. Oh, man, I love this pad now. Before I said I could never sleep on one of these. Did you hear my back? possibly rewind it and see if you heard my back crack when I first lay down on it just <laughs> I'm so used to it now and now it's like a goddamn chiropractor I love it don't be looking up my shorts so I'm liking the back side of this mountain better than the front side only problem is, oh shit, what the hell? I'll just uh, park my truck right here against this tree. <laughs> that is uh, Lawson Peak right there. I believe that's the volcano that blew out a long ass time ago. Cool clouds that rolled in to keep it nice and cool. There's a southbounder. But yeah, look at those clouds. Pretty cool. Over there, wow, it disappeared. There was a... There was. I'm going to sit here until it comes back. There was a like a steam vent coming out of those trees, really white. There it is, it's right there, it's coming up again. All right, this is my camp spot. It is Tuesday, August 20th. Remember, these next four days or next three days are <clears throat> out of order because I had to skip to go pick up a package at Bernie. So I apologize for making them out of order, but that's just how it had to be. I jump back as soon as possible because I want to stay continuous northbound. So this is the, they call it the spur to Boundary Spring. Uh, it's 0.2 miles that way. I can hear it. I did exactly 15 miles today. And that means 80, 70, 65 miles left to Bernie. <laughs>